So cool. The nigga put the cuffs on me and shit. Um, he ended up going to my top pocket and he found my lady's uh, credit card. And, uh, you know, I was putting money on the car. So, motherfucker, I'm going to use the car. So, he ended up trying to call to see if the car was stolen. And I'm telling him, I'm like, nah, bro, that's my old lady's fucking car. Like, bro, what are you? I just submitted to this dope. Now you're trying to put fucking credit card for it? Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? So, um, he ended up, because he thought I was lying. So, I ended up calling my old lady. She was like, nah. He, she, he was like, do you know that he has your credit card? And she was like, yes, I do know that he has my car. So now he looking stupid, you know what I mean? So they still trying to search the club or whatever. So I just told him, I was like, bro, before y'all take me to jail, can I give me some water? Can y'all give me a bottle of water? So they went behind the counter, got me a bottle of water. The nigga poured it in my mouth. The nigga didn't take me out the cuff, so I'm over here like this, and he just pouring water in my mouth. You know what I mean? So after then, he took me to the car, and he put me in the back seat. And then they went across the street, and then they raided the cave. So now I'm mad as hell because... Nigga, take me to jail. You done already the goddamn violated me. Now you got me in the back seat, and I got to wait for y'all to do another bust ever at the cave before you take me to jail. So when they finally decided to take me to jail, we driving. He didn't say anything to me on the way to jail. When we go there, he don't take me to the where you getting processed. He take me across the street in the little courtrooms. So I ain't know what the fuck we was going in there for. You know what I'm saying? I swear to God. I'm like, nigga, well, I'm, I'm waiting for the gate to open. And nigga, you go through the process and shit. So he bring me into the room where you go to court at. He take me in there. He still got his mask on. And he was like, listen, this is not even about you. He was like, but, you know, we can make this all go away. He was like, um, all you have to do is, you know, you can't get me nobody that got like a half an ounce or maybe an ounce of, of, of the Coke. I said, man, this is what you brought me here for. I said, man, take me to jail. Just like that. We, I don't have no fucking conversation for you. I said, bro, take me to jail. Like, bro, what are you? What the fuck is you talking about? You you think what you got me for is going to spook me into telling on somebody who ain't got shit to do with what I just did? Bro, take me to jail. He was like, that's the way you want it? Yeah, bitch, that's the way it is. Take me to jail. Never, like, it's just it's just not in my, um, it's not in my character to tell on nobody. You know what I'm saying? I just, no, I, it's just not in my character. And I mean, I, I ain't got no problems with the niggas who telling on people. Bitch, just don't tell on me. I mean, I mean, I got a problem with it. <coughs> but the flip side is, you know, when you're going to do some dirt, man, do this shit by yourself.